Guys, how's it? So tonight, I've seen there's a lot of confusion about rings, installing rings, the right way, clearances, and all the stuff that goes with it, all the one and the two just stuff. So, I just want to quickly do a brief overview and just give some, shine some light on the problems that I've seen with guys building engines. Um, hope it helps. Right, let's look at the ring guys. So we've got a scraper ring and an oil ring. The oil ring has got little grooves at the back, top and bottom. That is so that this oil ring does not move forward past the oil rings and that it makes a nice little sandwich. Sandwiched in like this, so the oil ring at the back Scraper rings to the front and the oil ring sits right smack dab in the middle so that oil gets scraped off, passes through the oil ring and back through the piston. So you've got your, your little oil rings sitting right there at the piston and the oil returns back down, lubricates the sleeves. You also need to do your ring gaps on your scraper rings. Because if you're not, you're an idiot. That's plain and simple. Let's have a look at the oil ring. Do you do and size your oil rings for the guys that are building engines? Right, let's look at the gap. I put this down here so you can see properly. So, oil ring separates, needs to butt. Um, Alright, so there you can see there's the where the two ends butt together So when you install it, you need to make sure that those ends butt up properly like that If this overlaps like that, you're obviously going to get a seizure And your oil rings are going to seize up and not work properly And you're not going to get any mileage out of the engine So, it's not, this ring needs to be sized as well as soon as I push on it and it needs to sit right inside, you can see that it pops out. So this it needs it's too big. So each and every person that you get some fits, but everyone needs to be double checked. Alright, so I'm probably gonna cut this one off. This one needs to be cut off one full tooth for it to be correct. So that will be cut off as it comes up. Actually two teeth. That's one. Next one where it comes up is there. So it's almost it's two teeth that it will be cut off. Then that will sit flush inside the piston. The two scraper rings doing its job. If you don't do it like that. Yeah, send me your engine. I will build it for you. Because it's not going to last very long. Guaranteed. Put your money where your mouth is. I'll put my money where my mouth is. So that's the way to see, size your oil rings. These rings, I'll do show you guys how to install them. Um, very simple. If you do not have a, a ring uh, uh, pliers, then I'll show you the easy way. Okie dokes. So ring pliers, very simple. Opens it up, pushes it over, and opens it. I, I, I prefer it. And pushes it down without scraping the piston. If you don't have ring pliers, very simple, won't damage the piston, won't damage the ring, was less stress on the ring, start by inserting it, lift this piece over, turn your ring over, and then gently start pulling it down, gently, you're going to scratch the piston a little bit, that doesn't really make too much of a problem if you or a perfectionist like me, you'll probably take a little bit of sandpaper and get it out. But that is the easiest way to get your ring on. There you go. Alright. Simple. Here's a little scratch. Get some sandpaper, sand it out. To take it off, same simple way. Lift it. Twist it. Over the lip. Pull it up. Going this way. And it's off. I prefer the pliers. The pliers are actually way easier. 